entering functions with parameters from the logo. Programmable module panel The control program can be carried out manually from the module panel or using the logo. Soft comfort. All program elements are distributed into program blocks. The program is entered from right to left, starting from the output element, for example Q1 or Q2, or a flag. Program elements are selected via program blocks. The principle of selecting a new function is a circular search up or down. The initial input of an output element begins with the new button. Confirm. Press OK. Enter an output element, for example Q1, which can be changed to another program element. Enter an element containing parameters from the front panel of the logo. Module. To do this, stop the program by pressing the ESC button, then stop. Select the program's sub-item. Let's erase the old program clear program and then enter a new program. Let the output be a mandatory element. Output. For example Q1 or Q2. The first function will be a counter. Let's select a counter from the SF block. And now we start searching in this block. To search, press the OK button. Then the function starts flashing. Now we can search. We scroll down or up. The elements still change in a circle. I found it. This is a counter. The counter will count the number of times the I1 button is pressed. Using the I2 button, you and I must erase the current counter value after the counting process is completed. Let's set the function parameters. To do this, move to the right and down to the block parameters. Click OK and select a value. Well, let it be. On the fourth press the light should light up. Well, Let's say that on the sixth press the light goes out. The stew parameter is the initial value of the report. We will select it from scratch. Press ESC and enter a new function. For example, a timer from the special functions block. So, to find the timer, let's try to move up. Yes. This ton timer. Let it be launched by the I3 button. Let's set a parameter that determines when the light comes on. Let the light light up after, say, 5 seconds, and let it go out when the input signal disappears. That is, the I3 button is pressed. Press the ESC button and save the program. Press ESC again and select Start Programs. So the program is ready. Now we need to test it. You can view the parameters and change them through the Program menu item by selecting Set Param. We select our parameters. We have two blocks that contain parameters. The first block is a counter. So, there were four pulses to turn on but it turns off after six times. Let's conduct an experiment. Current value is zero. When you press the I1 button, the current counter value will increase by one, two, three, four. The output lamp lights up. Five, six on the sixth press the light goes out. Seven, eight and so on. The current value will increase until we reset the current value with the I2 button. The current counter value has been reset. Now let's see how the timer works. Select block 2 containing the timer. So we have a delay of 5 seconds. When you press the I3 button, the ton timer starts counting time. After 5 seconds, lamp Q2 will turn on, which will turn off when button I3 is pressed. The principle of the ton timer.
If we want to change the time delay, we can do it here by clicking the OK button. We can change this parameter, say, to any time we choose. And here, tenths of seconds. Let's choose, say, 7.5 seconds. OK. Chosen. So let's press the I3 button. After seven and a half seconds the lamp will turn on. Now it turns on. And when you press the button, the lamp will go out and the current value will be reset to zero. The same applies to the counter. You can change the parameters. For example, let's change the enable parameter. Let's change it. When there are two pulses at the input, the lamp will turn on. So, tune in. And if the value is 6, the lamp will go out. Yes, the lamp went out. The current value will continue to increase until we press the I2 button and the current counter value is reset. Thank you for your attention.